For the record, order blocks have zero. Notice I'm not talking about depth of market here. Notice I'm not even pointing at a ladder. I'm not talking about footprint. I didn't even talk about volume. I don't care how many orders were purchased or sold short in this candle. It's irrelevant. That has nothing to do with my order block. My order block, which is codified and created and authored by me, nobody else is the author of it. I didn't borrow it from somebody else, and it ain't supply and demand. This candle right here, the open of that candle, the change in the state of delivery is when that candlestick's opening price is crossed right there for the first time. When that happens, then and only then, never before, never another time in the future, that validates this down close candle as a bullish order block. Now, why? What makes that an order block? The fact that we have this bullish hourly breaker, the fact that we traded down into it, and then we see a shift in market structure. Then we go back to the down close candle, the last one, prior to a run higher that has a shift in market structure there. That is not a change of character. Rebranding. <laughs> Stop it. This is not an FU candle. This is not an engulfing candle. I don't care if this candle started here. It opened here and went down. Or if it opened here and went down, I would draw it right on the opening price. It has nothing to do with engulfing. It has nothing to do with anything else except for what I'm teaching you right here. Folks, anybody out there trying to teach order blocks, unless they're parroting exactly what I said in another video lecture, they don't know what they're talking about. Period. End of story, that's just the facts. This becomes a bullish order block as soon as that candle crosses it. What? The opening price. That's the change in the state of delivery. As soon as that occurs, this low should not be violated. So you can now start looking for bullish PD arrays that are in discount. Well, everything's in a discount now because we're so far down. But... We have a down close candle right here. So we can use that opening price, extend it forward. Anything in there, buying this, anywhere in this area here, buying, buying that. You, you can buy that with a stop loss right below there. Oh, that's a little bit too wide for me. Then don't take the trade. Wait for another run higher and wait for an inefficiency. Wait for a fair value gap. Wait for a breaker. Wait for a... Institutional order for entry drill. Wait for whatever your model is suggesting that you should use. But look closer. We are now looking at that price range from this high up here all the way down to that low. We trust that that low will not be violated. Why? Because this candlestick was crossed right there. Now what happens? Let's pay devil's advocate. What happens if it breaks that low? Okay, then you have to continuously study price action and wait for that same instances where we see a shift in market structure to the upside. In the last down close candle, we'll mark the opening price, and if there's a candle that goes above it, that validates the down close candle as a bullish order block. This is only one form of my bullish order block. There are so many of them. And yes, for the folks out there that have a problem with me having all kinds of weapons 